in the house, de, in the la casa de misión de presidente um, Coyulias, de la misión Concepción Chile, nos encontramos en estos momentos. Eh, Revista Liaona, Asuntos Públicos, desea hacer una entrevista a uno de los integrantes de Jericho Road, quien se encuentra en Concepción por la actuación que, que va a tener hoy día, esta noche, a las 8 de la noche, en el Centro Estaca Hualpen de Talcahuano. Um, Justin Smith, hello, how are you? ¿Qué pasa? Bueno, ¿y tú? <laughs> How do you feel to be here? First time here, and uh, so far I think we've only been here about 24 hours, mm -hmm. and we've met tons of people so far, and it is great. It's great. What uh, what was your feeling, yeah, um, when you when you think that you would travel to here? Well, Brett told us that he had met Elder Sepulveda probably about two years ago. And if anybody knows Brett's style, I thought he's like, yeah, we're going to go to South America. I'm like, yeah, right. I'll see you when that happens. And uh, I was I was doubtful at first, but I was supposed to just picked it up and ran with it. And with a lot of help from other people, here we are. And I, I I'm just ready, ready to. We had our first fireside last night. We have several concerts lined up, and we're ready to do what we were sent here to do. Mm -hmm. um, it's the first uh, for, uh, first time that you visit Latin America, in special Chile. My very Chile? first time. Yes, my very first time. And it's not disappointing. It's very. Uh, it's living up to its expectations. Uh, what was your thought uh, when you crossed the mountain, Chilean mountain? Um, well, I was coming from Salt Lake and it was about 95 it degrees. Uh, and then when we came over the, the Andes, is that right? And they're covered in snow. I thought, man, I should have brought a coat because it looked kind of cold outside. But uh, it's really not too bad. And... and uh, We're, I think, we're pretty prepared. Mm -hmm. um, yesterday at night, uh, did you was a um, um, fireside. Um, fireside performance at Instituto Santiago Oriente. Um, tell me about it. Um, it's my first time with a um, translator, a Spanish translator. And her name was Carolina. She did muy bien, and uh, uh, she, she helped out a lot. And uh, I understood a few things here and there, um, but it was a, you know, you, as you as you can guess, when you come to a place where you don't speak their language, you wonder how how you're gonna do and how the experience is gonna go. But It's just like it's just like they say the, the spirit's the same everywhere, no matter what language it is, and and that was very prevalent yesterday. It was a strong spirit, um, a lot of very good people that all working together. We could we could appreciate the evening together, so it was great. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about the how was the people with you? The people were good. They uh, they're very patient with us because they know that uh, of the four of us, one of us speaks fluent Spanish, and so they're very patient, and, and we appreciate that. Um, they're very loving and giving, and, and we've felt that from the moment we've got here, with uh, being greeted by President uh, Wilcox, and then Elder Sepulveda, uh, and his missionaries. It's just been, we've just been embraced since we got here. Felt very welcome. Mm -hmm. Do you have any expectation uh, for tomorrow and uh, for Saturday? Expectations? Uh, I, it'll probably be similar to what when people see us for the first time in the States. There, we come out and we start dancing immediately, and they're like, "What are they doing that for?" And they get a little surprised and. And uh, it throws them off a little bit, but uh, it gets a, 
after we get a few numbers into it, they start recognizing that it's okay to to have fun and be happy and listen to that type of music, especially with it being such a positive message. And so I'm I'm expecting it'll be a little bit of a shock at first, um, but I think that they're going to catch on, just like all audiences have in the past, and and they'll uh, they'll enjoy themselves. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. <laughs> Um, tell me about you, your family, what do you do? I'm the youngest of six kids. I was raised in a town called Parma, Idaho, uh, which is not too far from Boise. Um, graduated from both BYU-Idaho and then BYU in Provo in, in public relations. I met my wife before I served a mission uh, at, at then Rick's College. And uh, then we got married two and a half years ago, and we live in the Salt Lake Valley, and uh, we've been doing Jericho Road since 2001, so even before I graduated. So this has been, this has been our full-time deal for a long, a long time, and we've just recently started to go internationally. We went over to the UK. Um, just this past March and also in August before that. This is our first time in South America and and we'll just keep going wherever the Lord feels that we should and um, the whole the whole point is just to be ready wherever he wherever he thinks that he should be sending in. So we're we're excited. We have a couple albums out. We have a new one coming out in about a month and a half and that's always fun because uh, a lot of people get eager for those new albums. I have I have 14 nieces and nephews, and they play the CD a lot, so my brothers and sisters are very happy to have new songs being played in the house. They're a little tired of the old ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's, that's a little bit of my background. Mm -hmm. um, tell me about um, the group, Jericho. The group. Uh, since Jericho. when uh, did you be belong? Do you belong to the Jericho Roll Ro group? Uh, we started it in, well, we met in 2000 and started singing. Uh, the day after we met, we put a demo CD together, and that's what we pitched to different, to a few different uh, record companies. And uh, Shadow Mountain Records, which is the record label for Deseret Book, they, they uh, about a year later, uh, approached us and, and said that they were interested in making some CDs with us. and, and uh, It's been us four since the since the beginning. It's been Abe, Brett, Dave, and myself, and and uh, we've been doing it since since 2001 as Jericho Road and touring all over the place, and uh, it just keeps getting busier, and we keep going more places, and and uh, it's 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 great experience. It's great. It's it's nice to know that the same four guys that started it are the same four guys that are with it now, and and. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that that's how it will remain, and, and that's that's kind of what makes it fun is that we're four really good friends that that happen to sing, and and uh, when as you look back at it, they always say hindsight is 2020, and and uh, as you look back at it, it's like wow, you, you never would have known that it would have worked out like this, but Heavenly Father puts people in a place at a specific time for a specific reason, and. and This is part of the reason why I'm here, is to be a member of this group and, and to go out and share the gospel uh, through this unique way in music. And uh, I love it. I love doing it. And then you, you sing mm. a gospel? Do we sing the gospel? Uh -huh. You got it. Yeah, we do. It's, uh, whether it's... Uh, we're in the Christian market, mm -hmm. and uh, whether we're singing about things that certain principles that Christ taught, or whether it's just good valued stuff, stuff that uh, you'd hope is common sense, like believing in yourself or, or uh, taking advantage of the time you're giving here. Different messages like that in song that sometimes aren't blatantly Christian, sometimes are just good messages. What do you think about the difference in being uh, singing gospel like Mormon, mm -hmm. uh, because the majority of the Uh, of the singer that that sing this kind of of music uh, are evangelic, no? Right. Um, 
belong to, to, to other, other faiths, churches. Right. Uh, what do you think about it? We do. Uh, a Mormon singing gospel uh, is not uh, common. You're right, no? it's not. Uh, there's been a lot of big steps, uh, a lot of bridges that have been built in from, from doing the Jericho Road Group. Many concerts that we've done, we've had bands of other faiths open for us. And so they'll bring congregations of their church, and then uh, then fans from our from our church will come, and they get it have a big interfaith experience, and and uh, it works out being very good. But you're right, most most of Christian music is uh, are, is sung by members that aren't members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints, and um, when they discover that we're Mormon, that kind of, they get surprised a little bit at first, but. Um, because a lot of times they have misconceptions that Mormons are, aren't Christian. And uh, as they hear our songs, they begin to realize how much, uh, how, how Christian we are and how we believe in the Lord and we believe in the atonement. We believe in the resurrection. We believe uh, in everything that Jesus was sent here and accomplished uh, and that he did for us. And, and once they realize that we have that common faith uh, in the Lord, then they that overcomes the, the misconceptions that they have. It overcomes the uh, the challenges that and anti things that they might have been uh, told or taught. And that's a really good thing because they go, oh, maybe those things aren't aren't so true, and not to judge a book by its cover. And it's built a lot of bridges for us, and and uh, we're very very blessed to be pioneers in that way. Thank you very much. We will we'll continue. Okay. Ya sobre el plan a veces importancia de la salud en nuestro país, pero ahora vamos a cambiar de tema y vamos a continuar con música acá en esta casa porque tenemos una manera exclusiva al grupo Jericho Road y me encuentro junto a su representante Enrique de la Madrid. Se trata de un grupo de amigos que nos visitan de Norteamérica y se conocieron en la universidad hace cuatro años y dieron inicio y vida también al grupo Jericho Road y quieren empezar también. A
20 horas.
¿No es así? Ahí está. También hay gente de Temuco que nos está visitando, de Chillán, han venido también. Todos bienvenidos y muchas gracias por acompañarnos. Santiago también está presente. Ok, gracias. Bien, jóvenes, lo prometido es deuda. Les hemos dicho que hoy día van a tener un show sencillamente espectacular. Y es así. Vamos a invitar a este escenario al primer artista de la noche. Ella es una santo de los últimos días. Su nombre es Pamela. Ella ha ganado varios festivales en su tierra natal, Temuco. Tiene una voz sencillamente privilegiada. Además, es profesora de inglés, amante de la música y amante del arte. Por intermedio de las mujeres jóvenes, fíjense qué importante es esto. Ella, por intermedio de las mujeres jóvenes, pudo canalizar, pudo aprender acerca del talento que tenía con su voz y pudo desarrollarlo también. Así que, el programa de las mujeres jóvenes es un programa inspirado del Señor, el cual puede ayudar para que nuestros talentos salgan a flote y los pongamos al servicio de Dios. Ella hoy día cumple siete meses de matrimonio. Se casó con un misionero retornado de aquí de Concepción. Así que vamos a brindarle un fuerte y cariñoso aplauso de 